coming from there! Uh, what happened? Uh, I, I think it's this, I think it's this, this technology, it's not working quite right. Uh, here, uh, um, uh, 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 one second. That wasn't right. Oh, uh, I, I don't know what happened there. Um, there we go. All right, all right, do it again. Hello guys, what's up? Welcome to Late Night with Brian Hope you enjoy the new intro. I think it's pretty great myself. I'm sure Kel, um, Kel, I'm sure you, you enjoy that. Bring back some memories. I shed a tear making that. It was so beautiful. But uh, so glad you're here tonight. <laughs> Hope you're having a good night, having a good time. Um, had a good Friday services tonight. Um, hope you guys were involved in that, had a chance to go to that, enjoyed it. I would have been there, but Today was Lily's birthday party. Her birthday was yesterday. She turned seven. So today was her party. It's the only day we could have it. So I missed you guys if you were there. But um, I heard it was a lot of fun. Really good. I know the stage looked beautiful. Um, Kale loves the intro. That's a hey, love it. Um, I thought she probably liked that a little bit. But uh, so I got a few things tonight. Don't plan to be too long because with the party and such. And I'm getting old and I'm tired and... Yeah, but I do want to hang out for a little while, have some fun. Uh, we haven't played Marvels in a couple of weeks, so Marvels is going to be back tonight. Um, we may not do it for a couple more weeks, so we, de we definitely got to get in tonight. I got three games pulled up tonight. If we get people, more people like jumping on with us, um, so if you're watching right now, go ahead and share this video. Go ahead and invite your friends. Hit up Discord. Say, "Hey, Brian is live. Brian is on. You want to check this out and watch?" Because, like I had promised. I got some new things happening, rolling out. Um, of course, the intro being one of those things. Um, probably the thing I'm most proud of, of everything that's new. Um, and there's a few more little things here and there along the way, but but we'll get there. So, I'm glad you're here tonight. I hope you're having a great, a great week. Um, I know a lot of you guys started spring break today, so that sounds pretty awesome. Um, and congrats to you for a week of no school. Just a break. Do whatever you want to, to chill, to sleep, whatever you may need to do. Um, so, before I get into everything else, um, I think some background music. That's better. Um, hopefully you hear that. If you can't hear it, let me know. I will adjust the volume a little bit. It sounds good to me because I got speakers going on and I'm just like, yeah, sounds good. But, um, so, of course, this is Easter weekend, and 
this whole year has been Holy Week has been the week we we, we celebrate and we remember it's Holy Week. Um, we gave it last Sunday, which was Palm Sunday. If you want to know more about Palm Sunday, go back and watch last week's video because we talked a whole lot, a whole lot about Palm Sunday for a lot longer than I intended to talk. But hey, good information, good stuff to know. Um, it's important to know why we celebrate what we celebrate, why we rever put reverence on what we put reverence on, um, and to know why we do what we do. So, um, I think even like some some reasons why we do things, and, and kind of a personal take for me on Palm Sunday too. So you definitely want to go check that out uh, from last week. Um, maybe after you finish up tonight, you can roll back check that out too. But um, so of course, yesterday was. Maundy Thursday. I'm not sure. I'm not sure how you pronounce it. Maundy Thursday. Maundy Thursday. Mandy Thursday. Not Mandy Thursday. Unless your name's Mandy, then I guess every Thursday is Mandy Thursday. But it's a day we remember as the day where Jesus had the Last Supper. He washed his disciples' feet and was ultimately betrayed um, by Judas. Boo, Judas. Um, so that's what we think of for we remember for Thursday. And of course, today be a Good Friday. Um, doesn't seem so good, but it's the day we remember where Jesus was crucified after being beaten and tortured, basically, and whipped. And um, you've seen the Passion of the Christ. You you know a lot about that. So um, so yeah. So today good is Good Friday. It's hard to think of it as being good because. Of how bad it seems, but uh, music jamming, yo. I'm just saying, it's hard to think about being good with with being, thinking about Jesus, Jesus our Savior being crucified. It's hard to think of that as being good, but it was a good thing for us, a very good thing for us. It was all part of the plan. Um, it was His plan to make things right again between us and God. Um, so it's all going according to plan. Like we talk, we we talk about we don't. We don't see God's plan sometimes as like being what we'd expect. Um, I wouldn't even consider what Jesus did if I was like, if I was God or if I was Jesus, I would, would not be like, yeah, I'm just going to go die for these people I don't even know. They're just going to like turn their back on me and stuff. And some of them will be like, I don't even want to know you, but I'll die for them anyway. Like it's not hard to think about that kind of stuff. Um, last time I watched The Passion, It's been a few years. Matter of fact, it has been five years since I watched The Passion Last. No, four years since I watched The Passion Last. Um, it's been a little while. I've seen like clips here and there since then, but it's been that long since I watched it. Um, I remember seeing it for the first time. I saw it in theaters, and I bawled my eyes out the whole movie because it was just so powerful and like, like, blows your mind to think that Jesus would willingly put himself through that for us. So, um, yeah, been a little, been a little while, but, but yeah, I've, I've watched it a few times, like all together, um, several times, but, um, but yeah, but, but that was all part of God's plan. It was all part of the, the master plan to make things right between us and him, where as long as we're in a relationship with him and we claim his as our savior, we claim his as our God, claim him as our um, our salvation then we don't have to go worry about sacrificing lambs and stuff like that and we're, we're good he was the perfect sacrifice so of course it don't end there that's the beautiful part about it that's not where the story ends um, thankfully Sunday rolled around and that is going to be what, what's what we celebrate Easter Sunday um sure you know that right everybody probably knows that probably but if you don't we celebrate Easter because that's the day where they came down to the tomb and then the stones rolled back and Jesus was not there um was gone and then he appeared later on was like hey I'm back um like I said I would be told you wasn't joking it wasn't April Fool's joke it actually happened so so that's just like just super amazing cool um 
So, of course, this week and this weekend is like, this is like, like I mentioned before, one of my favorite weeks. Just thinking about what Jesus did for me is like, it's awesome. Um, haven't watched it since you were seven. That's probably scary for a seven year old to watch. I'm just thinking because I was like, I was a teenager. I watched it. But, I mean, it's such a good movie. I mean, it's hard to watch, but it's such a good movie as in, like, trying to even think about and wrap your brain around what he did. Because it's not just some story, like, oh, yeah, he just went and died and then came back. Like, no, there's, there was a lot of stuff involved in this very, like, brutal death and all that kind of stuff. So, um... Yeah, so Sunday we celebrate Easter, um, and we have three services at DC, and I'd love for you to be there, or at the very least, online. I'll be online hosting for the first and third services, um, and I plan to be at at least one of the services. So, was it shelter from that? Well, that's good. It's a good thing. Um, I think that helps add maturity and add, like, to learn things at a younger age it's easier to put things into perspective but I'm excited about Sunday can't wait for Sunday um I just I just love Sunday I've already seen the stage from service tonight it looked beautiful kudos to the creative team that put that stuff together um they're amazing maybe I should get them to come like re do some work for me um but uh but yeah so we get into it for tonight. We'll play Marvels in just a little bit. Hopefully we can get more people in here. I know Swamp Fest is going on, so good Friday. Swamp Fest is happening. A lot of people are that probably hanging out, having fun. I'll be there tomorrow at Swamp Fest. So if you like I'll be at the JJ Cookies tent or table or whatever we have for JJ Cookies. Um tomorrow evening, like 5 30 till whatever. So if you're there, come by and say hey for JJ Cookies. A bunch of cookies everywhere. Come say, hey, buy some cookies. I'll appreciate it. Pastor John will appreciate it. We'll appreciate it. Um, so yeah, definitely come see me tomorrow. I'd love to see you guys. My mouth got really dry. Um, but yeah, so like the title of this video says, I do have a very, a very important announcement, a very exciting announcement to make um of course the title of the video is we did it because we did it um and i'll talk about chris's hair because the, the challenge was if we had 100 students at wave this past wednesday for disney night um which if, if you were there or if you weren't there even um and you want to see the pictures of everybody that dressed up and then some other pictures that i took along the way they're all on discord if you're not on Discord yet, why aren't you on Discord if you're a student? If you're not a student, then you probably shouldn't be on the student Discord. But you can go to that link. I don't know why I pointed at my screen. You can go to that link right down below, or I guess it's maybe here if you're on a computer, um, and see pictures from Wednesday night. They're all on Discord in the Wave Pictures channel that was newly created. Where if you took pictures as well, and anytime you're at Wave, if you take pictures at Wave, you can put them on there. And we can all look at pictures, laugh together at funny pictures, be amazed by beautiful pictures, and then just see pictures of Chris. I didn't get any pictures of him bald though, so I don't think the world's ready for that. The internet's not ready for that yet. I didn't take a picture of Chris bald. Um, sorry, Chris, if you're watching this. Um, Especially the process of going bald where Ruben left like a little bit but that was just scary, I'm just saying. Um but um I'm sure you make I'm sure bald doesn't look bad on you. Um I'm not gonna say it looks good or because anyway, but but yeah, so check out the picture on Discord. Um but the challenge was to get a hundred students either in person um, that's great. He'll put a picture on there. So if you want to see Chris bald, you can check out Discord. 
the Wave Picks channel. Paul Chris is on there. Um, so the challenge was to get 100 students in person and or online. And I think we fell a little bit short. We, we had 40, I think, was our total. Um, so we did not meet our goal, unfortunately. Um, but Chris had pity. And I suggested since we got 40% of the 100, he should have 40% of his hair shaved off. But that probably would have been worse, though, I guess, than having it all shaved off. So Chris decided to go ahead and get it all shaved off. So it's all shaved off. He's bald now. And so, but when I say we did it for our title of this video, I'm not talking about Chris's head being shaved. I'm not talking about 100 students on, in, in Wave, um, which I think we can do. It takes some work, but I think we can get 100 students at Wave. I think it can happen. Um, I'm not getting my head shaved for it though, or my beard shaved, so don't even get any ideas. That's not happening. Exactly like zero chance of that happening. But when I say we did it, we have done it. And I'm pleased and proud to announce that Late Night with Brian has won an award. Yes. Lady Abraham has won a very prestigious award. And this award is We have won the Best YouTube Show Award. I'm not sure if you can see that. It's it's smaller than expected. Um That's probably worse. You can't really see it very well. But I will take a picture of it and put it on Discord. So um we won an award for best YouTube show. Presented by it's not important. But we have an award. That's what's important. We have we have an award. That's that's the important thing. Um it was pointed out to me that um it makes a very good desk for, for Mini Brian. Makes a good desk for Mini Brian. The Mini Brian now has a, a trophy for a desk. Um I'll put it next to him. No, but he's not hidden behind it. He can be out. So the so Kale says if, if we get Hunter suits, he will shave his beard. Now that I wanna see. I want to see Kale grow a beard first. I wonder how that would turn out. I wonder, I wonder, like big bushy, big lumberjack beard. Like that one current episode where Kale was a lumberjack with a fake beard, but like real, like big bushy beard. That that'd be a little scary. Like if if Kale has a bigger beard than than me, or especially than, than Pastor Justin, that'd be a little scary. I'm not gonna lie. Um, not saying it would look bad, just say it would, it would be scary for him to have that big of a beard. It'd just be uh, so unusual. But um, but yeah. So there's our big news. We've won an award for best YouTube show. I'll take a picture of it after we finish up. And I'll put it on Discord so you can see it. Um, and I will explain how we won this award. And uh, in better detail uh, but for clickbait purposes I will not tell you right now so <laughs> um, but that's enough of that I see we have two people watching so make sure if you have not commented yet make sure you say hey so I know who's here let me know that you're here hang out with us um, let me know who's here where you're watching from all that good stuff but uh Oh yeah, be sure to say hey. I like when people say hey. When you say hey, I say hey back. Yeah, I will say hey back if you say hey. So be sure to say hey. Um, please, like, I'm not like forcing you to, but please. But uh, don't know if that crazy nonsense, nonsensical nonsense. Uh, but let's go ahead and get some marbles. We haven't played in a while, so might be a little rusty at it. But I'm gonna switch over. Oh yeah, it's time for some marbles. It's been it's been a while. It's been a long while. This music though is it's I'm loving it. Killer! Not really. 
All right. So if you don't know how it works, the way this works is you choose a marble. They are named after the disciples. And of course, there's two Judases and two of uh, somebody else. So there's only one name, but there's 10 names. You pick a name. They're going to drop them in the comments in the chat right now. I mean, take your pick on which marble you think is going to finish the course first. Now, no matter what Kel tells you, like I know Kel's going to tell you it's rigged that I pick and choose who wins. I have no control over the marbles themselves. I control the camera. That is it. Okay, so any rigged talk is nonsense. And if you scream rigged, you have to go to our merch store, like our right hand merch store. You have to buy a rigged t-shirt. That's how this works. If you scream rigged, well, see, Kel has, Kel has already bought a shirt, so he can scream rigged all he wants to. But if you go to our merch store, the link is in chat right now. If you go to the merch store, you buy a rigged shirt, you can scream rigged all you want to. Um, that is your ticket to screaming rigged and saying rigged in all caps. So. That's the only way you can say rig though. So just so you know, um, that's how that works completely. So let's go ahead. It looks like Kel has chosen Philip. I'll give you a few more seconds to let anybody else who is watching right now. Um, if you're watching this after, if it's not live, you're watching it on demand, go ahead and put in the comments, who is your choice? Who do you think is going to win? We have got James, Andrew, Bartholomew, Matthew, Peter, John, Thomas, Philip, Judas, and Simon. And yes, Kel has a rigged license, okay? He has a license to rigged. It'll quite work the same. Like, I was going for like license to kill, but I mean, you couldn't kill, that's bad. But license to, license to rig? But he's not rigging no. He has a license to say rigged, okay? We'll just look at that. That's, that's close enough. So if you're watching right now, live or on demand later on, and don't cheat, watch the race, see who wins, and then go back and okay. So and so by the way, right now you're you're picking your your marble for all three races. We're doing a Grand Prix style. So at the very end of all three races in the Grand Prix, whoever has the most like the highest score overall is gonna be the winner. So that's how this works. Um Pastor Johnny is a swamp fest awesome glad you're watching um about jumping in some marbles if you want to jump in there and and put in your disciple that's gonna win all three races or overall after a three race grand prix that was like fun i can't wait to be at swamp fest tomorrow i'm definitely gonna go hang out at swamp fest um and so if you're at swamp fest right now or if you're going to swamp fest tonight i guess it's not too late go stop by and see pastor johnny He's probably around the JJ Cookie stable, I'm sure. Just go shout out to him, say go say hey. And uh, he'll be glad to see you, I'm sure. I'll speak for him, he'll be glad to see you. I'll be glad to see you tomorrow. If you come in earlier than 5.30, you can see whoever's there, because somebody will be there. One of us will be there, somebody will be there hanging out at the table, so come say hey, buy cookies. Say hey and buy cookies. All right, so let's go ahead and get the marbles rolling. Um, let's get it rolling and we're going to drop the marbles in. Three, two, one, here they go. Let's see who comes in first. Making their way downtown. Simon is in the lead right now with Philip behind. And Simon, oh, Simon gets through pretty easily. The blue Bartholomew, that is the current track time record holder. So in case you have, if you don't know how this works, that's that's what that is. The white name Bartholomew, that's Bartholomew in this race. And um the bluish teal Bartholomew, that is the track time leader. And Simon making it straight down. Who do I pick? Um Okay, I know he's way behind this time, but I'm gonna pick James because that's my first name. And um, my birthday's Monday, so I think James is gonna win for my birthday, I'm just saying. 
I think that's what's gonna happen. James is gonna be the winner for my birthday. He's gonna he's he's not very he's kind of far back this time, but I think he's gonna come back and win just for my birthday. Because he's that kind. Very kind, James. And I'm not sure where they're going. They're kind of going up and down. Let's go sideways so we can kind of see. They're kicking back up. Going back down and around. Here's the record leader, Bartholomew, coming down. So, oh, and Philip Ketchum. I was about to say there might not be a record, a uh, new record this time, but Philip is ahead of current record. Bartholomew, real Bartholomew, and Simon and Peter and Philip are all right there, and Peter escaped first. Peter's coming down in first place. And Peter, even after denying Jesus, still makes it in first. Matthew is off the map. He went flying. He's off the map. Second place is Simon. Third place is Philip. Fourth is going to be Andrew. After he makes it through the little style things, he drops in for fourth. John coming down for fifth place. Bartholomew is in sixth. Thomas is in seventh. James, dude. I, be I believe in you, okay? You didn't do too well this time. I think it's all the green. The green freaked you out. I believe in you, though, okay? So, just saying. Um, and thank you, Kale. Kale, for a happy birthday. Thank you. So, for this race, Peter came in first, followed by Philip. I saw followed by Simon, then Philip, then Andrew, John, Bartholomew, Thomas, James, my dude, and then Judas in last, well, except for Matthew, who flew off the map. Matthew, you had one job, dude. Two jobs. You handle the money. You put the money. Actually, that was Judas' job. Matthew was a tax collector before he became a disciple. He probably didn't want to mess with money at all. They have one job. Don't fall off the map. Fall off the map. So Judas beat you. How, how, dude, what's up with that? So moving along. Next map. The Funnel 2. This is going to be good. I'm guessing there's a giant funnel involved. Oh, I'm good. When you're good, you're good. I just, I just knew it. There's a big giant funnel. So. Let's see. If Philip can win for Kale. James can win for me, or whoever you picked, see if they can win for you. Let's drop the rivals in three, two, one, and here they go. Come on, James, I believe in you, James. I know you can do this. Around, around the funnel they go. Look in the funnel. Going around and round in circles. This map brought to you by Marvel's on stream. I mean, we're playing Marvel's on stream game, so I guess all the maps brought to you by Marvel's on stream. If it wasn't for the game, then the maps wouldn't. But anyway, I digress. Oh, it's not like James. There you go, James. In third place right now, facing Andrew. Right there next to Matthew. Okay, that's, that's an improvement. Andrew's coming down. Andrew's getting a pretty good lead, though. But James and Matthew are right on his tail, so if there's any obstacles down here, maybe they can slow him up a little bit. Slow up Andrew. Kind of snaking their way around, coming on down. Oh, we have another funnel. Andrew straight through the little dots there. So did Matthew and James. Got a little colander here, a little sifter. If you're liking this music, if you can hear the music, if you're liking this music, make sure you like this video. Let me know in the comments. Like, music's pretty cool. Especially if you like it better than the old music. Music courtesy of Screen Beats. And James is in the lead, okay? It's not rigged. I did not 
that's that's not I, di I didn't I didn't control that I'm I can just move the camera that's all I can do okay it's I have no way of knowing who's gonna win so James can fall off the map and still lose so you never know but oh man get it really close up too far on the edges James you're killing me but James drops in first place that's my dude coming coming in clutch followed by Andrew Simon's gonna drop in for third. John's gonna drop in for fourth place. Follow up Matthew, Judas, Boo, Peter, Thomas, and Bartholomew and Philip taking their time, but they're gonna make it. Looks like. Getting pretty high on those edges, but Bartholomew drops in for ninth place. Philip drops in tenth. See, I'm not even getting mad, Kale. I, you, you, you have the license to play rigged. So. You have the license to say rigged, you can say rigged all you want to. Um, this current song is called Simple Fade. It is from one of the hip hop albums from Dream Beats. Um, final results first place for James. Second place, Andrew, Simon, John, Matthew, Judas, Peter, Thomas, Bartholomew, and Philip. Philip just not doing so well. Normal race, let's see how this race goes. See who comes out on head and on top. Um, James getting the wins, so that's, that's a good sign. Last map, Coils of Power. I feel the power. a little bit funky here we go got them all spread out all was all spread out here for the big giant funnel it's i guess it's funnel night we got funnels going on everywhere this is a better song it's called dirty dan dan needs to go get a bath or something so here we go, dropping the marbles in three, two, one, to finish out the Grand Prix and crown the winner for tonight. They're gonna converge to the middle. See who drops down through the funnel first. Who's gonna come down first? There's some little blue circles. I'm not sure what the blue circles are. I don't think I like that. Is that a portal? Let's see what this is. Oh, that's a portal. That could be a bad thing. Come on, James, don't hit the portals. Or it could be a good thing. It could be a portal like straight to the end or something. Who knows? We're not gonna cheat and find out. We're not. We're not gonna. No, no, no. We're not gonna look. No, 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 no. We're not. We're not gonna look. We're not gonna look ahead. I'm gonna. No, I said we're not gonna look ahead. Got a coil coming up, but that don't mean anything. Taking their time coming in a funnel. This is a long funnel. It's been a minute, and they're still in the funnel. Come on, guys. There we go. Thomas comes out first. Diamond followed close behind. And here comes Philip. Let's see if they hit a portal. See what happens. Thomas makes it through. Simon makes it through. All taking different routes. Oh, there's a portal down below. What do the portals mean? Thomas jumps in the portal. Where did he go? Oh, you come back out the other portals. Okay, so you, you might have to go back and you jump back to the back. Make your way down through some little uh, light up. It's like some little dice everywhere. Simon's stuck, James is stuck, John's stuck, Peter's stuck. Can you get him stuck? Okay, they disappear after a while. So Simon in the lead. Followed by Bartholomew. Thomas, where'd Thomas come from? How'd he get up there? You're just coming down the other coal. They're just going everywhere, snaking everywhere. Kind of crazy. But the finish, finish line down here after all the coals going everywhere. Around and around they go. With some portals to intercept you and put you back at the beginning, I'm sure. 
But looks like Simon coming down to the finish. He gets stuck on the block and oh, he made it past the portal. Simon will drop in first place. Followed by, who's gonna make it second? John hits the portal. Thomas, where did Thomas come from? Thomas drops in second. Andrew drops in third. Peter's gonna be fourth. Matthew is fifth. Judas, what are you doing? Philip, what? Where'd y'all? Where'd y'all come up there? What are you? What are you guys doing? Oh, they hit the portal. Went all back up there to the top. That's not right. James is in seventh. Judas, stop, Judas, stop. No, go, go back. No, no, Judas, hit the portal. Hit the portal. 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 Okay, Judas drops in for eight. I guess. I guess we still have to forgive him. We, ultimately, it was, it was it was God's plan. Supposed to happen. And Judas, you're hey, whatever. Judas in eighth. The John and Philip now coming down, and it's not looking very good for Philip. And they are caught by the blue haze that caught up with them. So Simon is winner this round. First we have Simon, second Thomas, third Andrew, fourth is Peter, fifth is Matthew, sixth Bartholomew, seventh is James, eighth is Judas, and Philip and John did not finish. And so for the Grand Prix winners, we have Third place is Philip. Third place is Simon. First place is Peter. Even though he didn't finish the last race, how did James finish in eighth? Okay, I think this thing is rigged. This thing is definitely rigged. James won. Okay, James won a, a race and he's in eighth. How does that happen? Okay, I'm again. I'm again to agree with Kale. I can't believe I'm saying this. I'm starting to agree with Kale. I think it's. I think it's, this. This is rigged. Okay, it's not me doing it though. But I think somehow, somehow, I'm gonna say this. Marbles are rigged. They're rigged. That's the only way to explain it. Is James finished? First, he won one of the races. But he's in eighth. Not right. Not right, man. I don't like it. Like it all. You know what? That's enough marbles. I'm doing marbles for the night, okay? Peter won. Simon second. Philip in third. Congratulations, Kale. Getting third place. Overall winner for us. I'm still not happy. Rig, man. Yeah, I said it here. Marbles is rigged. Okay, I'm, I'm not playing marbles again. Like, ever. The next two weeks, at least. Probably. Maybe. Maybe, maybe, maybe two weeks. Two weeks with two weeks of no marbles. Made me mad. So anyway, that was marbles. Um, and that's all I got for tonight. Got the uh, our nice new award. Take a picture of it, put it on Discord. Hope you had a good time. I had a good time until. Kale's right. I can't believe I'm saying this. Kale's right. This whole time he knew. Kale knew. And I didn't believe him. The marbles.
Well. Hope you all guys. Hope you guys have a great night. Hope you have a good weekend. Come see me at Swamp Fest. See me at church on Easter Sunday. Oh, those are rigged, man. They're rigged. I'll take a picture of our award. Put it on Discord. I'll see you guys next time. Until then. Enjoy the new outro. If you missed the intro, you're going to want to go back and watch that. Pretty great. But Marvel's a rig, man. Love you guys. Have a great night.